Hello everyone, it's Ant here and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to use the updated database on FM23 to see how Harry Kane's career pans out now that he's made his big move to Bayern Munich. We're going to keep checking in on him, see how many goals he manages to score, see if he keeps it going at international level and to see if he can fulfil his dream and actually get a medal on that mantelpiece at home. So everyone, Harry Kane's just started life in Germany. Let's see how he's got on in his first month in German football. And it's his first competitive game for Bayern Munich. He's already won more than he won at Tottenham in his whole career there as Bayern Munich beat RB Leipzig in the DFL Super Cup. Harry Kane scores to pick up his first trophy as a Bayern Munich player. And in his first Bundesliga match, he also bagged a goal as Bayern beat Werder Bremen 2-0 away from home. So it's not a bad start in his first month in German football as he bags two goals, two assists in just four matches for Bayern Munich. Now we're going to simulate about another six months into the future and see how he's doing in the Bundesliga and in Europe. So everyone, I did say I was going to simulate six months into the season. I've actually gone to the end of the season. See how Harry's done in his first season in Germany. So let's take a look, shall we? So he is actually a Bundesliga winner in his first season. They got 78 points. They were actually 14 points ahead of second place Dortmund. He finished third top scorer in the Bundesliga with 15 goals. He was also second in the assist chart with 11 so he's had a really good first season in Germany. And that's not all Harry's won this season. Obviously, he won the Super Cup at the start. He won the Bundesliga. He also won a DFB Pokal in his first season in Germany. He did play in the final. He got a 6.9 rating. He won't care. It's another trophy win. And the medals are stacking up in his first season in Germany. Now let's check how Bayern Munich did in the Champions League because I don't think they're quite strong enough to win it. Oh, it's so close. Harry gets to the final against Real Madrid, but they do lose the final. It's heartbreak for Harry. So in the group stage, they did have an odd group. It was Real Madrid, Inter and Celtic. They finished second behind Real Madrid. They then beat Atletico Madrid in the round of 16. 1-0 overall. They then got past Arsenal in the quarter-final. That would have been sweet for Harry as an ex-Tottenham player. And finally, they played Real Sociedad in the semi-final. Got past them again on penalties. Man United and Real Madrid was the other one. They weren't strong enough to beat Madrid in the final. It is heartache for Harry. He was fifth top scorer in the Champions League with seven goals. So it's been a good season overall. I think he'll take that. He won the Super Cup, the DFB Pokal and the Bundesliga. Got to a Champions League final in his first season in Germany. He waited a long time for a trophy. But he's finally got some silverware. Not only that, he did win the German Footballer of the Year. So a brilliant first season in Germany for Harry. Now let's simulate season two. See if he stays with Bayern Munich. And see if he can add a Champions League medal to his collection in this simulation. So season number two, Bundesliga number two for Harry. They were a massive 20 points clear of RB Leipzig this year. The season had started with a 2-1 win in the Super Cup against Dortmund. I'm not sure we should count that as a trophy, but I'm pretty sure Harry will. Now, you would think they'd win the DFB Pokal, but you would be wrong. They were beaten 2-1 by Freiburg in the final. Harry got a goal. It proved to be a consolation. But have they done it in the Champions League? And they could not. It's more Champions League heartbreak for Harry. They were beaten 6-2 on aggregate in the semi-final by Manchester City. In the quarter-final on the route to that, they did beat Chelsea 
Harry Kane got a hat trick against them, so that would have been nice for him. Over the course of the season, he did manage 14 goals in the league, only four assists this year, so not quite as good as his first season in Germany. He actually hit 21 goals in all competitions in 44 games, so not a bad season but not brilliant by any stretch. As for the international stage, Harry did hit a couple of goals in the qualifiers for England, so I'm sure he'll feature in the Euros in the summer. But how long he stays in Germany remains to be seen, as Bayern have signed Darwin Nunes from Liverpool for a sum of £84 million. So we'll have to see how Harry does in season number three and whether he stays in Germany with Bayern. So before I get on to season number three, I just want to mention because of the database, how it works, he changes all the information, he doesn't change the date. So in reality, this would be the start of Harry's second season in Germany. For this FM experiment, he is having an extra year in Germany. I hope you can forgive that. But he went into the Euros, confident with England. He got through the group. He bagged himself a couple of goals. Got one against Israel. Picked one up against Poland there. In the second round, we did get through past Switzerland. We then faced Germany in the quarter-final. Harry got on the score sheet, scoring a penalty. We ended up beating him on penalties, which obviously would never happen. Only to then lose in the semi-final to France, so there would have been some tears at the end of that one. So his third season with Bayern started with a 3-1 win over Freiburg in the Super Cup final and he won his third Bundesliga title in three seasons since his move to Germany as Bayern were crowned champions with a six-point gap over Stuttgart. But things did not go to plan in the DFB Pokal for Harry and Bayern as they were knocked out in the quarter-final to RB Leipzig. And it was a similar story in the Champions League as they managed a 1-1 draw away at PSG in the quarter-final only to lose the home tie 1-0 and send Harry and Bayern out of the Champions League. So, if we take a look at Harry's goals this season, he bagged 9 goals in 23 starts. Not as many starts this season for him. He did get more assists, back up to 9, so that's a decent return. His average match rating was the highest since his move to Germany, with a 7.58 match rating. That's very good. And he did manage to bag 4 goals in the Champions League but only nine in the league, so that is a little bit disappointing from Harry Kane. Since he's been at Bayern, he has scored 38 goals in 83 games, so it is a good return, but let's see how he copes. Now he's getting a bit older as we move into season number four. Season number four began in disappointing fashion as Harry Kane's Bayern Munich lost the Super Cup to RB Leipzig. But it was business as usual in the Bundesliga as Harry picked up his fourth Bundesliga title. The Champions League draw once again saw Bayern face Manchester City in the quarter-final and Harry Kane's two goals in the first leg earned Bayern a 2-2 draw. But the second leg saw them go out of the competition and even Harry Kane's two goals were not enough to beat Manchester City. He did manage to lift his second DFB Pokal since arriving in Germany as Bayern beat Dortmund in the final on penalties. Harry played 26 times in the league, scoring 8 goals and claiming 8 assists. But it was a rather disappointing season from a goal-scoring point of view, as he only bagged 13 goals in 37 games. However, he was in great scoring form for England, and his 6 goals in the World Cup qualifiers helped England top the qualifying group to send them to the World Cup. That summer saw 33-year-old Harry Kane head to the World Cup in the USA, Mexico and Canada 
with England. Where are they top group P before beating Nigeria in the second round 4-1 with Harry on the score sheet. The third round saw England get past Brazil on penalties before overcoming Italy in the quarter final 2-1. However, Harry was on the bench with Rashford starting up front. And in the semi-final they met France and it was heartbreak for England and for Harry as they went out of the World Cup on penalties. But Harry did have a medal to take home as England got third place in the World Cup after beating Portugal 2-1. He returned to Germany for his fifth season and helped buy into another Super Cup with a win over Stuttgart. And it was yet another Bundesliga for Harry bringing his total to five. But it was more Champions League heartache as they drew with Real Madrid in the semi-final first leg. And despite gaining on the score sheet at the Bernabeu, Harry couldn't help his team through to the final as they lost 2-1. And his end of season got more disappointing as they lost the DFB Pokal final to Dortmund in extra time. Harry bagged 19 goals with 16 assists in all competitions and won the Germany Footballer of the Year for 2026-2027. So Harry started his sixth season at Bayern Munich with a win in the Super Cup against Dortmund. However, just as the summer transfer window was closing, Chelsea come in with an 8 million bid for Harry and it was accepted by Bayern and he now finds himself in a Chelsea shirt back in England. And it wasn't a bad return to England for Harry as Chelsea got second place in the Premier League. They were knocked out of the Carabao Cup in the fourth round to Man City on penalties and Harry's Champions League case followed him back to England as they went out in the quarter-final to PSG 2-1 on aggregate. And despite Harry opening the scoring in the FA Cup final, they did lose to Liverpool 2-1 after extra time. Harry wasn't exactly prolific on his return to England, scoring only four Premier League goals and only eight goals in all competitions. He is 35 now, so let's see how he does in the seventh season of this simulation. In Harry Kane's seventh season since leaving Tottenham for Bayern Munich, he got a fourth place finish with Chelsea in the Premier League. Chelsea did get to the semi-final of the Carabao Cup but were beaten by Liverpool 4-1 on aggregate. Everton dumped them out of the FA Cup in the fifth round and it was Harry's old club Bayern Munich who dumped them out of the Champions League in the round of 16. Harry was really starting to decline now and he had grabbed just two goals in 14 Premier League games. But at the age of 36 he had still grabbed another one year deal with Chelsea. In the 8th season of this simulation Kane managed a second place finish with Chelsea in the Premier League. They were knocked out of all the cups but he only played 12 league games and managed one goal throughout the season. Despite hardly featuring this season Chelsea once again offered Kane a new one year deal. It's the end of season number 9 and Harry Kane has finally hung up his boots. He has retired. He retired on the 29th of June 2031. He did have that last season with Chelsea. In his final season, he did make 8 appearances, scoring 2 goals off the bench in the league. Chelsea only finished 6 in the Premier League. They were knocked out of both the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. However, Chelsea did win the Champions League. They beat Man City in the final. Harry gets a Champions League medal. He didn't feature in the match. He was on the bench, but he does get that winner's medal to add to his collection. So he does go down as a club icon at Bayern Munich, sitting alongside names such as Frank Ribery, Philip Lahm, I am Robin, big names connected with Bayern Munich. He joins that list and it's no surprise he played 216 games for Bayern Munich, scoring 100 goals. He won five Bundesliga titles, two DFB Pokals and five German Super Cups 
It's no wonder he goes down alongside some of them great names. Now, he didn't do as well at Chelsea, but he was coming to the end of his career. It was the last few years of his career. He'd lost all his physical attributes at that point. However, he played 55 games for them, scoring 15 goals. He won a FIFA Club World Cup Championship and, of course, finishing with a Champions League win so he'll have no regrets about his time at Chelsea. Now, as for his England career, which I know some of you will be interested in, he did get his third place medal at the 2026 World Cup. He does go down as the England all-time goalscorer with 74 goals. He's also the most capped player with 142 caps. But that's the one thing he didn't do, win something with England. That'll have broke his heart, I'm sure. So everyone, that is the end of the video. Do we think Harry was justified leaving Tottenham? He won Bundesliga's DFB Pokals, a Champions League with Chelsea. Personally, I think he was. He wouldn't have won that at Spurs. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. One more thing, good luck to the Lionesses on Sunday. They're in the World Cup final. They're going to bring it home. The old country's behind them. I'm sure they're going to do it. But from me, that's all today. Goodbye.